As we await, let me narrate the flight events of this mission. The TVD1 mission from liftoff of test vehicle to touchdown of the crew module lasts for about nine minutes. The test vehicle, being a liquid stage, is held positively at minutes. the launch pad through a launch hold and release system (LHRS) until the thrust developed by the engine is adequate. The duration for this verification is six seconds. Liftoff takes place at T0 and coincides with LHRS release. During the thrust, the pillbox is attained. Pillbox is a set of specified abort test conditions. Pillbox is a set of specified abort Pillbox is a set of specified abort test conditions. Pillbox is a set of specified abort test conditions. Pillbox is a set of specified abort test conditions. This event is expected to take place close to 58 seconds into flight. This is a real-time decision where velocity of Mach 1.25 Flight path angle of 60 degrees and altitude close to 11 kilometers is attained. Three events then take place in tandem in quick succession. One, the separation of crew module and crew escape system from the test vehicle. Two, the simultaneous ignition of all the four high altitude escape motors. Three, deployment of grid fins provided minutes. on the crew module fairing for enhanced aerodynamic stability. High altitude escape motor burns for 2.44 seconds, generating a thrust of 1,043 kilonewtons cumulative. Thereafter, coasting continues. Condition of maximum dynamic pressure is encountered in this period. The crew escape system, having completed its action, separates itself from the crew module at a predetermined time by firing CES jettisoning motor. This event takes place at 91 seconds into flight. Now the crew module is all by itself and orients itself under aerodynamics. Based on altitude and total angle of attack, command is initiated for further deceleration by separating the apex cover, giving way to subsequent parachute release. At this point of time, crew module is descending at max 0.55. T minus two minutes. Apex cover is decelerated with its own pair of parachutes. Drogue chute reduces the velocity of crew module from 145 meter per second to 51 meters per second. This deployment takes place at an altitude of 16.7 kilometers. Pilot parachutes then deploy, whose function it is to aid the deployment of main parachutes. These deployments take place at an altitude of 2.5 kilometers. This is a real-time decision based on altitude. In the following 236 seconds, the crew module would have slowed down to about 8.5 meters per second velocity. That is just about right for a safe touchdown. ISRO, in coordination with Indian Navy team, will recover the crew module after touchdown, approximately 10 kilometers from Sri Harikota coast. अब हम उड़ान से एक मिनट की दूरी पर टी माइनस वन मिनट क्रू मॉड्यूल को बंगाल की खाड़ी में माइनस फिफ्टी उसकी लोकेशन डिटेल्स प्रेषित की जाएगी और माइनस फिफ्टी सेकेंड और उसके सुरक्षित दूरी पर क्रू मॉड्यूल पर माइनस फोर्टी फाइव नौसेना के पोत तैनात हैं माइनस फोर्टी सेकेंड अब हम कुछ ही सेकेंड माइनस थर्टी फाइव सेकेंड प्रज्वलन देखेंगे टीवी डी वन का माइनस थर्टी सेकेंड वी एस पी पी ओपन रियल टाइम प्रोग्राम एक्टिवेटेड माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड माइनस ट्वेंटी सेकेंड माइनस फिफ्टीन सेकेंड टेन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर Hold is observed. यथा समय प्रज्वलन किया गया था लेकिन फिलहाल यह होल्ड पे आ चुका है वर्तमान में यह प्रमोशन होल्ड की स्थिति पर है
this rvd there is a hole we will come back shortly अभी प्रमोचन को होल्ड पे रखा गया है good morning all of you uh, this is from sdsc star the uh, the lift off attempt of tv d1 uh, could not happen today the initially the launch was scheduled at 8 o'clock 8 am there was a postponement of the lift off time to 8:45 due to weather situation and uh, we had a very smooth als uh, the automatic launch sequence leading up to the command to lift off uh, the, the engine but the engine ignition has not happened in the nominal uh, course uh, we have to find out what went wrong with that uh, the vehicle is safe the all the entire vehicle is very safe uh, we will have to reach the vehicle and then look at what has happened now uh, we will come back soon after analyzing what has uh, triggered the automatic launch sequence holding the vehicle so what has happened is the on board the computer which is doing this function the ground checkout computer which is doing the function has withheld the launch in view of the anomaly observed so we will come back with the anomaly uh, understanding and correct it and schedule the launch very soon uh, that will be announced a little later after the analysis is completed thank you thank you so much for joining us for this launch attempt today uh, thank you so much bye bye